What's up guys, this is Paco MNL, back with another video review. Today I have in my hands the new Rack Alcus RGB gaming mouse. Yep, you know what that means. This product is extremely low cost, and I mean really affordable. Like a bit over $15 affordable. Looking at this thing, it almost looks too good to be true. So today, we're here to put it to the test and find out how it looks in closer detail, and most especially find out how it performs. By the end of this video, you'll know all its pros and cons. I know you're really excited to get this show on the road because I've had this thing for quite some time now. I've been using it for about a month, and it's not even in store shelves yet. Let's crack open this box and get started with this review. Taking a look at the package, you'll find that it keeps in line with the new minimalist gaming aesthetic that Rack has going on with its latest line of products, which is definitely a good thing, because I'm a big fan of this design, and I'm sure most of you are as well. Definitely a big step up from their older designs evoking a premium feel that is indicative of the quality they commit to. You'll find Rack branding on all sides, and of course as per usual, you'll see product information and specifications at the back of the box. Here's where the box gets a bit interesting. Opening the box, you'll see an illustration of the mouse in the left panel, and to the right of that, the sealed mouse is showcased in a clear plastic cover that is pretty much standard in most enthusiast gaming mice these days. In addition to the mouse itself, you get a product overview and quick start guide, which is a nice touch, as not all the products come with this piece of information. Now that you've seen the box, let's take it out of the package. The mouse has a non-braided USB cable that is 1.8 meters in length, with a USB tip that is non-gold plated. In my humble opinion, it doesn't really make much of a difference whether or not the tip is gold plated, so this is not an issue for me. Looking at the form factor of the mouse and the design, I gotta say I am a big fan of it. It reminds me of a smaller Razer Mamba, and for years I've been searching for a mouse with similar ergonomics but smaller form factor that fits both claw grip and palm grip, and I finally have one in my hands. Make no mistake, this mouse feels exceptional to hold. It fits my average sized hands like a glove. It's not too big and not too small either. The mouse's size is 129 by 68 by 42 millimeters, and it weighs approximately 115 grams. The relatively lightweight might be a downside to some of you, but I personally like lightweight mice and prefer it over heavyweighted ones. Despite its lightweight, the mouse does not feel like a toy. It feels as it should, a gaming grade mouse built for intense play sessions. Though the mouse looks sleek, I did notice some discoloration on the chrome finish after long periods of use one month in. That was disappointing to see, although it's not really that noticeable. The mouse has 9 buttons in total, the left and right clickers, on the fly DPI selectors, scroll wheel, programmable 2 left side buttons, an RGB on off toggle switch underneath the mouse, and a special sniping button which I assume sets DPI to a certain level to improve sniping accuracy in certain situations. Very cool. Let's talk about the sensor used in the Alcus. The Rack Alcus features an Avago A3050 sensor. While it is a decent sensor all things considered and definitely a big step up from office grade mice, be warned that if you are a low sensitivity user, you may have some issues with this mouse as the liftoff distance is extremely low, among the lowest out on the market now, clocking in at 3.6 millimeters. This is due to the nature of the sensor itself and you have to know what to expect. Personally, I am a high sensitivity player and I rarely, if ever, lift the mouse off of the mouse pad, so I didn't have any issues with lift off distance. That said, if you are an MMORPG player or RTS player, this is fit for competitive play. But if you are a hardcore FPS player, you might want to look elsewhere. In fact, I like the shape and size of the mouse so much that I wish they would retain everything else and change the sensor to something more robust and versatile. In terms of tracking performance, the mouse was a joy to use. I've been using this thing for a solid month now, and I have zero complaints when it comes to tracking and consistency. The Alcus has a report rate of 125 to 1000 Hz, which is an industry standard. It also has 6 levels of DPI ranging from 500 to 4000. You can also turn off mouse acceleration using the Alcus fine tuner software. Speaking of software, let's take a quick look at the different menus and access the RGB lighting controls so you can see how the mouse looks like when it's fully illuminated. The mouse features all your favorite RGB lighting modes that adds up to a total of uh, 11 modes and features the full 16.8 million color range. However, it does not support sound reactive lighting as most gaming products don't do this either. The LED lighting on this thing is bright and vibrant as you'd expect, and the lighting does not flicker. The colorful streaming mode being shown right now shows that the lights are capable of a very smooth transition effect between colors, and I believe this is indicative of quality RGB lighting. 
Now that you have an idea of the Alka's pros and cons, what's my verdict? If you're a budget RTS MOBA slash MMORPG gamer looking for a sleek new mouse that's seriously ergonomic and comfortable to use, go right ahead and spend 800 pesos on this thing. For such a low price, you really can't go wrong. Or can you? Just keep in mind that you get what you pay for. If you're an FPS gamer, however, I suggest you look for a mouse with a different sensor, as the Avago A3050 just won't cut it for your low sensitivity playstyle due to its liftoff distance. But if you're anyone like me who plays at a crazy high DPI setting, then I'm sure you would enjoy using this mouse as much as I have. There you have it guys, my review of the new Rack Alcus RGB gaming mouse. Hope you found this video to be informative. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time.